Fans of home fighting games have been talking about Kasumi Ninja for months now. As the first fighting game for the Atari Jaguar, Kasumi Ninja will come under extreme scrutiny the second it's released. There's been a lot of pre-release hype about this kick and punch cart, but when I played it recently, I found a real rarity, a game that lives up to its own press. Kasumi Ninja features a wide variety of characters from ninja assassins to Native American fighters. Each character has its own fighting style, so even basic moves like punches, kicks, and jumps will differ from fighter to fighter. One feature lacking in many fighting games is the ability to choose your opponents and locations in any order. Kasumi Ninja is a tournament fighting game, but it adds a little more to the basic climb the ladder and kill this big bad dude scenario. After you beat all the regular characters, you must fight the end boss, a ninja possessed by evil spirits, as each of the characters and win. But that was only a hologram of the bad guy. Then you have to make your way through a dangerous labyrinth, fight him for real, and escape the labyrinth. Only then will you have won the game. The game runs at 30 frames per second, and it really shows. This is one of the fastest fighters I've ever played, and the animation is superb. In a bow to Shang Tsung, defeating a character gives you the ability to morph into them and use their powers. You have to become proficient with all the fighters since the end game boss must be defeated by each character in order for you to win. In games in general, blood is good. But in fighting games, it's almost a biblical commandment. Blood is cool. Blood sells. Considering that, Kasumi Ninja should go over big. There's more blood in here than Acclaim ever thought of throwing into Mortal Kombat, and the blood collects in gruesome pools on the floor for the duration of the fight instead of mysteriously evaporating after a few seconds. Kasumi Ninja will include just about every option you could think to throw into a fighting game. Naturally, it'll have lots of special moves and lightning-fast combos. You can play in two-player mode or against the computer, which is sensitive to your abilities and will adjust to your style. Hidden characters, a turbo mode, and a blood lockout code will also be included. Of course, no fighting game of the brutal, bloody, malicious sort would be complete without a host of disgusting fatalities to learn. Not to worry, you'll get your fill of violent death with Kasumi Ninja. Apart from being interesting and extremely well animated, this game's fatalities are the bloodiest, most gruesome mutilations of dead people I've seen on any platform, home or otherwise. Scheduled for release in August or September, I expect Kasumi Ninja to sell a ton of Jaguar systems. It's beautiful to look at, exciting to play, and should take a long, long time to beat. Plus, it's easily the bloodiest fighting game yet on any home system, and that alone should guarantee strong support from the mutant crowd.